everyone welcome back to spring web flux essentials and in this video we are going to add another method to the repository so let's uh, add here find by id we do not have support for jpa or hibernate using r2dbc but we do have some support for spring query dsl so this one will let us create a method called find by and then the attribute available in our class and the query will be built for us. So here just adding uh, an ID. And now that we have this available in the repository, we also have to add it to the service. So basically we are going to create a public mono anime and then this will be find by ID and we are going to ask ID here return and reverse story find by id sending this id okay so now we just have to go to anime controller and then we add another get mapping this time we ask for a path where we are going to get the variable id and we create a method that will return a mono anime and uh, this guy will be called find by id as well variable so if you are not familiar with uh, what I'm doing here just go to spring uh, boot essentials in our channel okay so we have our find by ID and uh, to test let's just start the application Let's go here, slash enemies, slash one. Okay, we do have now uh, a mono, it's not a flex anymore. You can see the raw data. And if you remove here, you can see that the raw data is an array. If we search for two, we get an empty page. Let's inspect this network. Reload. And as you can see, we have 200. So 200 means that the request was successful. And we don't have any data because, well, there is no uh, anime with ID 2. We can do a couple of things here. First, I would like to see the requests available that are being uh, executed in the database. And uh, unfortunately, we don't have like something like show SQL or uh, JPA like in the Spring configuration. We can change the login level for the package org Spring framework data R2DBC, and we can set this to debug. So let's see if just building the project with the application.yaml will be reloaded. So we have here on update, update class and resources. Let's just check. Okay, as we can see, the SQL uh, is being executed, but we don't have anything available for us because it's probably returning a mono of empty, empty mono. We can um, make sure by adding here, for example, dot uh, log build the project again and then we will send logs that we have on subscribe request and then we have here on complete and then we have this error uh, related to the block hound I believe is related to the hot swap so I rather use the hot swap and then uh, check if we have any blocking calls later so to avoid this because it will start hanging the, the application I will just command these lines and um, start my application so there are a couple of things that we can do here but let's do in the next video because if we want to keep the pattern that we have inside the spring boot where if you don't find you return an exception and you will have that uh, response body uh, timestamp um, error and so on for the exception we need to do a couple of things so let's see what we can do in the next video
See you there.